Okay, uh, today uh, let's continue with the revision of your uh, chapter 3 agriculture from your social science geography. All right, in the previous class, we have completed up to question number 12, is it not so? So, today let's uh, start from question number 13. Question number 13 is compare the tea and coffee cultivation with reference to the temperature, rainfall and areas. Okay, let us compare and contrast the cultivation of tea and coffee. Tea requires high temperature of about 27 degrees Celsius, whereas coffee 15 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Tea requires, cultivation of tea requires about 200 centimeters of rainfall and coffee 100 centimeters to 150 centimeters of rainfall. Tea grows well in the rainy tropical and humid subtropical areas of India, China, Sri Lanka, Japan and Indonesia. Whereas coffee grows well on the well-drained hill slopes, okay, don't forget these hill slopes, in the tropical areas of Brazil, Colombia, Indonesia and India. Okay, so next one, question number 14. What are the three main varieties of coffee? They are Arabica, Robusta and Liberica. Once again, Arabica, Robusta and Liberica. Question number 15. Mention the climatic conditions required for the growth of cotton. Okay, long warm temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is the requirement for the temperature. Tempera temperature for the growth of this cotton. Frost free during growing season at least one, 210 days. 210 days. Okay, average rainfall required 60 centimeter to 110 centimeters. The next question is why jute cultivation? Why is jute cultivation mostly concentrated in the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta in India? Jute requires hot and humid climate with average temperature of about 30 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall of about above 150 centimeters. Okay, that is the requirement of temperature and annual rainfall. Soil, alluvial soil of river flood plains favor the luxuriant growth and lot of water is required for the removal of fibers. Do not. Because of such favorable conditions, most of the jute cultivation is concentrated in the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta in India, especially in Sundarbans. Okay. Next, compare the geographical condition necessary for the cultivation of jute with those of cotton. Now, jute and cotton compare and contrast Jute requires hot and humid climate, cotton, abundant sunshine and uniformly high temperature. Okay, average temperature of jute 30 degrees Celsius, whereas cotton 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius and also frost free. Frost free means uh, uh, humid, yeah, it should not be humid. Okay, during growing season at least 210 days. It should be frost free. Annual rainfall, jute, 150 centimeters. And annual rainfall for cotton, 60 centimeters to 110 centimeters. Jute grows well in the alluvial soil of river flood plains. Is it not? Especially Ganga Brahmaputra uh, uh, Delta. And also cotton grow best on black soil and alluvial soil. Black soil and alluvial, the black cotton soil. It is also known as black cotton soil. Okay, let's go to the homework. Why Indian coffee is famous all over the world? Why, what is the reason? Because it is known for its quality. Indian coffee is known for quality, a better quality, I should say. Which fiber crop is known as the golden fiber and why? Jute. Jute is known as the golden fiber. 
because of its shiny golden color because of its color okay question number 18 what is mean by agricultural development agricultural development refers to efforts made to increase agricultural production in order to meet the growing demands of increasing population that is what uh, is meant by agricultural development write five characteristics of farming in the United States of America let us see first one is farming in the United States of America is mainly commercial in nature typical farm size in USA is about 250 hectares very big size with the suitability of the soil and amount and nature water available nature water available the farm the farmers grow crops once again with the suitability of the soil and amount okay and nature soil nature well, I think there is there's some mistake here once again with the suitability of the soil and amount and nature of water availability and the farmer grow crops I think there is no mistake adequate measures are taken to control pests or insects that can damage the crop okay farms are highly mechanized okay use of uh, machines to perform various agricultural operations and use large amount of chemical fertilizers in order to increase the production okay so let's compare the farming of USA and India USA American farming is commercial in nature India is mainly intensive subsistence type intensive intensive means not commercial subsistence for family consumption typical farming farming size in USA is about 250 hectares average farm size in India is 1.5 hectares big differences you know farmers study soil and water resources available and grow crops whereas in India farmer take advice of their friends and elders as well as government agricultural officers in USA farmers use tractors seed drills harvesters and thresher to perform various agricultural operation they use a lot of machines in India farmer usually hires tractor and thresher from a nearby town he mobilizes cheap laborers laborers and also assisted by the uh, by in various activities USA have automated steel grain storage US US farmers many of the farmers in India do not have storage facilities okay so that's the disadvantage let's go to the next one uh, homework what is mean by what is the main aspect of agricultural development main aspect is mechanization of agriculture that means use of machines like tractors weeders harvester etc what are silos okay silos are used in the United States of America it is an automated steel grain storage okay we need the storage is it not how do farmers in Manipur Valley operate their fields let us see this is rather important in Manipur Valley farmers generally reside in the village near to the field the field is moderately fertile and divided into a number of small plots okay farmers largely depend on monsoon rain they don't have irrigation system they depend on monsoon rain in dry winter the field is left fallow that means the field in Manipur has been left during the dry season without doing anything rice is the main crop grown you know farmers take advice from the local elders and government agricultural officers only farmers simply follow the traditional method of tillage using animals and full participation of the family members and neighbors the farming is purely of subsistence in nature and there is no scope for commercialization 
commercialization okay next let's go very quickly to the next one mention the types of farming practice in the hills and valley of manipur in the hills of manipur shifting cultivation is practice in the valley of manipur it is settled or permanent farming is practice okay this homework uh, actually you have to do it by yourself but uh, i have done i have uh, i'll just give you some hints some important points suggest some measures to be taken up by the government to help the farmers provision of farming loans okay loans from the banks at a low interest the farmer should take uh, money they need money for uh, agriculture do not insurance of their cultivation they can insure their crops in the during the time of damage by natural uh, disaster like floods uh, or like drought and all they can insure for that purposes provision of supported fertilizers pesticides and also high yielding variety of seeds fourthly farming faculties and farming faculties and facilities ought to be provided at no value okay another one is provision of market facilities that will be also important so for today let us wind up here next class let us go to question number i mean let us go to chapter 4 and uh, we'll have some revision on that very chapter thank you